you came to the right chef. Welcome to another episode of Cooking for Dummies with me, Chef Vic. I've been getting a lot of letters and postcards lately from fans who write, Dear Chef Vic, I would love to understand the best way to cut bread. Not a loaf of bread into slices, but a slice of bread. Can you help me? Well, you came to the right chef. Today we're going to learn how to cut bread, any kind of bread, in every way possible. For today, I'm using plain, simple white bread. Okay, I will now show you how to cut a piece of sliced bread. First, long ways. That's why I have the bread turned this way, as you can see opposed to these two. I want to be precise and do it right. So get a measuring tape. You want to get an even, you know, they say there's an old saying, measure twice, cut once. Right about there should do. So this is the long way cut. There you have it. Now, some people like to cut their bread short ways. So once again, we're going to get the tape measure and we're going to make the cut this way. Okay, this is long way. This will be short way. So we're going to get the tape measure. You want to get a correct, a nice, even cut like so. There you have it. Long way short way. Now, some people don't like any crust at all. So I'm going to take the knife. I'm going to cut that side, that side, that side. And there's one more side. And that side. Like so. So now we have a piece of bread with no crust. That's most of the times families with little children. Most children don't like crust. There you have it. Long ways, short ways, and no crust. I want to show you a little trick I learned in culinary school. You could also now use this piece of bread if you're making sliders. You get a glass that's obviously smaller than the outer edges of the bread. And you're going to place it like that. And very carefully cut along all the edges. Like so. Get a nice, even cut. Make sure it's nice. Put that aside. That, you know, nothing goes to waste. We can feed the birds later. And there you have it. Now, a lot of people like to make sandwiches, and they like to cut their bread on an angle, from this corner to this corner. Or you could go from this corner to that corner. Make sure you're going from corner to corner, like so. You know, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to be a little daring today. I'm going to go this way because I'm also right-handed. And you're going to go like that. Check this out. And there you have a perfect piece of sliced bread with two beautifully cut pieces of bread on angles for your sandwich. Look at that. It's really easy. A lot of people like to cut their sliced bread in threes. Maybe they're making finger sandwiches or cinnamon toast. So I'm going to get a piece of sliced bread, put it in a plate. Once again, you want to measure it so that the three slices come out equal. Measure twice, cut once. Okay. I'm going to get my knife. There's, that's about right. One, two, and three. Three perfectly. Look at that. I express the importance of using a tape measure. Why? Well, you want the same amount of coverage on the top and the bottom of the sandwich or in a toaster. You want the pieces to cook identically, same amount of time and same exact toastage. And that's that. Now you know everything you need to know about how to cut sliced bread different ways. Tune in next time with me, Chef Vic, on Cooking for Dummies.